Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Box here, and welcome to another Pursuit Friday video. So today's video is actually a follow-up to a video I did about a year and a half ago where I talked about five different things that I kind of needed to work on personally. Hooray! Flaws! So the idea was that I would follow up about a year later, and I would see if I improved on the things that I talked about in the first video. Also, while I'm talking about the stuff I'm trying to improve on, maybe try to leave a comment down below and talk about something that you would want to improve on. Or even something that you've worked really hard at in the past year that you're proud of yourself for. But anyways, let's get started! So the first thing I wanted to improve on was procrastinating. Yep, I definitely didn't improve on that. On the upside, I've gotten better at preparing for things, it's just I always leave something left to do at the last moment. So I've made it a little easier on myself, I'm just really bad at time management. Note to self, something to improve on. The second thing that I wanted to work on was overthinking things. A lot. I kind of get overwhelmed with thoughts sometimes. It all kind of moves at a million miles an hour in a little tornado, and then you just get really busy with thinking about things. On the upside, I have definitely improved on this. Occasionally, I will overcomplicate a really, really simple thought. Luckily, it's gotten to the point where it's not really affecting me in my day to day. So, so far, it's one thing improved, one thing not improved. The third thing I wanted to work on, and this was actually really important to me, was that I was really concerned about what people thought of me. Like, I was very conscious of people's opinions of me, and even kind of self-conscious to the point where I would worry about, oh, did that thing I do look silly to someone? Did something I say look ridiculous? This one I've definitely improved on a lot. It's not necessarily that I don't care about what people think of me, but I don't overly worry about the opinions of people I don't really interact with or don't know. Which is great when you do a lot of stuff on the internet. Okay, so it's two things we've improved on so far, and one thing that we haven't. And two out of three is not so bad. Okay, so for the fourth flaw that I wanted to work on, it was massive imposter syndrome. I'm not too sure I really improved on this one. It's not necessarily that I can't internalize my accomplishments. Like, I, I can be proud of my own work, you know, because you work hard and you want to be proud of it. But one thing that's always difficult for me is when, if someone says something nice or compliments me in any way, shape, or form whatsoever about myself or anything I do, I never quite know how to, like, accept that niceness. Like, don't get me wrong, I feel, like, really great when someone says something nice, but it's always hard for me to, like, say thank you to them without being self-conscious that I'm saying something that doesn't sound genuine. If you guys have any tips for me about how to properly accept a compliment, like, without feeling self-conscious, then please let me know in the comments. For real, I would actually appreciate that. Okay, so we're two and two. We are tied right now. So the very last flaw that I tried to improve on over the past year is that I would dwell on things a lot. Like, if I got upset about something, it would bother me and kind of ruin my day. This I've definitely improved on. I'm not exactly sure how, but I've just gotten a lot better at it. I think it's just something where if you're actively aware of the thing that you need to kind of focus on, then you can do it. Because I wanted to be stronger than whatever feelings I was feeling that day. Honestly, I think listening to Queen has a lot to do with it. But in all seriousness, I just, it's something I just kind of worked on a little bit every day. Like, especially because I want to work hard on the stuff that I care about. And I want to be able to be feeling good to be able to be around my friends and around the people I love. I mean, things still upset me and irritate me and I'll still feel out those feelings. But I've definitely found that I have a much better capacity capacity for processing those feelings. And even if something is rough in my day, it's not going to destroy the rest of it. So I didn't necessarily develop a thick skin, but I've definitely kind of figured out how to sit there and really just kind of let my feelings happen and then process them and go on to the next part of my day. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So it was a very close call, but we actually improved on more things than things that, that we didn't improve on. So thank you guys so much for watching this week's First in Friday video. I know this wasn't exactly informative like most of my other videos, but I still hope you enjoyed it anyway. And if you guys really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe down below so that you can get updates on whenever I post a new video. Also, if you guys would like to support the content that I make on here and on other platforms, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box down below. 
And speaking of patrons, I want to thank these amazing supporters on Patreon for making the content on this channel possible. I mean, without them, I wouldn't really be able to do anything on here. They make all of this stuff happen, and any improvements to the channel, I can honestly thank them for that. Like, they are so supportive, and I adore them all. Also, some of them have YouTube channels and other stuff, like art pages, so please check them out in the description below. They have their links down there, and yeah, they absolutely deserve your support because they have given me so much of theirs. Well, that's all I got for you guys today, so thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video.